Right, so I thought I'd give you a little demonstration of it, uh, cranking it and running it. Um, this one doesn't have any primer button or anything. That's where the primer button would have been on the original model. Um, so I'll give you a little demonstration of cranking it and show it in action. I'd like to actually cut something for you, but it's uh, snowing outside, and I don't feel like uh, going out in the snow. I will try to give you a picture of the wood pile we've got that we used uh, this to cut it all up with. So I'll all right, so we'll go ahead and crank it up here. It's got the choke here on this side. Just pull it all the way out towards you. And it should uh, fire a little bit and then just push it down and then it should crank for you. There you go. Um, I think it's a decent little unit for the money. Uh, I don't know where you could get one as good as that for about 105 bucks. I think with tax and everything. Yeah. So uh, if you like it, I'll uh, put the uh, link in the description below. Um, you know, won't please like it, this video, and uh, consider subscribing so you don't miss more of these things. Um, you know, if I was needing a saw for, you know, a good little while, uh, I definitely recommend this one. Um, yeah, I was going through probably stuff that was about out this far. I actually had to turn some over and then cut them again. And this thing was doing really fast work of that. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with it. Helped us out to get just a load of few loads of wood cut up and uh, got us ready for this snowstorm we're having right now. So all I really want to do is just uh, help people save some money instead of having to go out and buy the big name brand stuff. Uh, like a Husqvarna of this sort would probably be about three to four hundred dollars and if this could get the job done for you. I mean not a lot of people are going to go out and use it like a, a lumber company will be. You know, like every single day, cranking, using it for like five or six hours straight, and then shutting it down, and then go back and reuse it again. Most people just need something to cut up a lot of wood, or uh, like a tree that's fell in the backyard, just need something to kind of go out there and trim the brush off, you know, move it out of the way. This right here would be a great little saw for that. All right. Well, I hope you all have a good day. Uh, hey, you can see my breath. <laughs> I hope you all have a good day. Uh, please uh, consider subscribing. Um, and definitely please like this video so it gets shared more. All right, thank you very much. Bye. So here's another little trick you can do to make it work a little bit better for you. You can take a, uh, a little die grinder or a hacksaw and you can cut yourself a notch through these Allen wrench bolts that hold on this cover here. Um, because the problem is, is this wrench cannot get that this one very easily. It's going to be, you have about this much work room, so it takes you forever. If this keeps happening, you're going to, have to take it off quite a bit to um, either rewrap the cord or clean it out. And this technique just takes forever. So what you can do is take a die grinder, the hacksaw, cut you a notch in it. And then they actually ship this with your chainsaw. And then you can just put it in there and screw it in and out. Most of the regular chainsaws have this option on their screws already. So it's just kind of upgrading it so you don't have to take forever. And then with this tool, you can just get right down beside there and screw it in and out really quickly. All right. Another thing about this chainsaw 
is a lot of the chainsaws and leaf blowers and everything out there now. The idle screws, the fast and low idle air mixture screws have a special tool that you have to go buy. Well this one it just has two flat head two flat head screws just like the really old ones did. So you can actually go in there and adjust it yourself if it starts kind of running off or usually what happens is that the gasket starts going bad and starts adding a little extra air to the mixture so you can actually go in there and turn the air mixture screw down so it's using more of the leaking air to burn um, so it makes your engine start running normal again so yeah um, I'm actually quite happy with my purchase of this so far but it's only been a few weeks um, so I'll have to see how it goes for the next few years. I didn't plan on this lasting me for you know like 10 or 15 years like a Husqvarna or anything. It would be nice if it will but it would just kind of get me through the winter and have something that uh, kind of ran because the Husqvarna kind of blew up on us so uh, we didn't have any other option real quick. I mean the cheapest one like at Lowe's was a Craftsman. It was one of the other cheap brands. Um, and this was probably about as good as those except they have more like they would probably crank better than this right out of the box but you know I paid uh, 97 bucks for this on eBay uh, it could go up or down I'm not sure now but uh, it's going to be around 100 and something bucks for this after tax and everything um, and the cheap crisp was I think around 240 or something so kind of a pretty decent difference about 120 bucks difference so yeah so yeah I'd, I'd recommend it at least for um, you know a while you know, it won't be probably a continuous use saw but if you're somebody that wants to go and cut some brush out of the backyard and not spend a bunch and may use it once or twice a month and this would probably be the chainsaw for you because it's pretty cheap and you know if it breaks you know go out and throw yourself you know, throw it away and go grab yourself another one um, that price two of these combined would not be as much as a cheap craftsman saw from Lowe's or Walmart so yeah, I definitely recommend it.